this is a really quick look at how to add a basic contact form onto your website. So I'm on my About page in the Dashboard view, and I have my description on the About page. Underneath it, I'm going to hit Return, and I'm going to put, my, I put a contact form here, since that's usually the best place to put it on your site, although you might want to put it on a different um, in a different location than this, and, that, and that's fine. And you can actually put it in multiple locations on your site, but I'm just going to click to do it on the About page. I'm going to click Add Block, and then sometimes it's a little hard to find, but I'm just going to search on Contact, and you'll see Contact Info and Form come up. We want the Contact Form. And then you can just leave this blank. You don't have to put a subject line. You can see if you leave that subject line blank, notifications that you get from anybody commenting on this page will just see the page name and the subject line. Or we'll just use the name and the subject line. So I'm going to click Add Form and get an idea of what it's going to look like, which it looks pretty nice. It, so anybody who's filling out this form would need to put in their name, their email address, the um, uh, website address. You can set that if you don't want. If you don't want them to have to put in a website address, you can just click off of required. Or actually, it looks like it was off of required. But if you want to require that, then you can click on that. That's my grandbaby in the background, by the way. And uh, then underneath that, of course, that's their area for the message. So also, too, if you don't want them to have to submit their email address, you can click off of Require and on that. So you can customize it pretty quickly. And then when you're done, just click Update. And we go to the, if we go to the front end of this site, and I'm going to just refresh, because we just made that change. Now we're going to see the About page. And you should see the About page. Okay. And... <laughs> That's the grandbaby again. Okay, so then you can see the form, and it looks really good. So that's how con people can contact you. By the way, though, the uh, options for a form, sometimes you might have a site where you want something that's more specific than that. So usually to create your own form with your uh, where you can add different sections that you want to include in the form, make the form more complex, you would do with a plugin. And again, that's if you had the paid versions, uh, the professional, or even the e-commerce versions of the site, of a WordPress site. You can't do this on a free site, but what you would do is just do a search in Google or whatever search engine you're using, something like contact form plugins for WordPress, and then look for one that works for your site and install it and then customize it.